Uh, the kids are asleep, and Tracy's in bed. She said to tell you goodnight. Mm, good, good. I am so glad you came down and surprised us. Your mom and I, we live for this kind of stuff. I know. What are you watching? I'm watching Cheers. I love Cheers. I used to love to watch you watch Cheers. Huh? Nothing. Hmm. Well, watch this, watch this part. Watch what Norm's about to do right here. <laughs> I've seen these episodes a thousand times and never get tired of it. <laughs> I quit my job. You did, huh? Yeah, I quit my job, Dad. I don't know. I just, um, I just hated it. I hated going to work. I, I, I didn't have any passion about what I was doing. I never got to see Tracy and the kids. So I quit. What, what does Tracy say about all this? She doesn't know yet. I came home Friday and I loaded up the car. The kids were so excited about seeing Mimi and Papa and Tracy just looked at me like I was crazy, but she was happy to come too and I guess I just had to come here. I had to, I wanted to feel safe. I tell you what, tomorrow morning your mom and I will watch the kids and why don't you, um, why don't you take Tracy up to that diner up the street and you just, Son, you just sit down with her and you, you just talk to her. You just, you just tell her. You, you just tell her everything. Dad, look, I mean, you always told me that, that, that God created me for a purpose and, and that, that I should be passionate about what I do. And, and I'm, that's why I made this decision. I mean, it was your advice that was just ringing in my head the whole time. You, you told me that. True, true. I... I was the one that told you that. I guess... I guess I just need some more of that advice. I need to know it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. There's gonna be some bumps along the way, but... None of this, this took, took God, God by, by surprise. surprise. I always overlooked that advice when I was a teenager. <laughs> Most people do. Son, there's a purpose for you here on this planet, and you gotta take some risks and figure out what it is. But get your family behind you first. Are you behind me, Dad? Yes, I'm behind you, literally. I'm right behind you. Seriously. Hey. You're my son. Chase your dreams, you're not getting any younger. Speaking of not getting any younger, I better go to bed because tomorrow morning, if we're watching those kids, they are like electric chihuahuas. Have you ever noticed that? They are like this bundle of energy just in a small amount of space and time. I don't get that. There's nothing you can't do. Huh? Nothing. Tell you what, finish cheers for me, all right? And if you want some advice, listen to what Norm has to say. It's coming up. What's he going to say? He's going to tell you that it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there and you don't want to be caught wearing milk bone underwear. That's a pearl of wisdom. Yep. Good night, son. Good night, Dad. <laughs>